President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia to launch government's Tap and Go Transportation Initiative on February 19. My name is Elizabeth Adu. Now, the Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia will launch the Tap and Go Transportation Initiative on Monday, February 19, 2024, aligned with the government's dedication to digitizing the Ghana economy economy this initiative aimed to formalize and harmonize the informal transport sector through the implementation of proven and well-structured technology solutions it is slated to take place at the head office of metro mass transit limited at 9 a.m a statement by the metro mass transit limited inviting the media also informed the public of the steps being taken to renovate public transportation now moving away from that chairman of the christian movement advocates for christ ghana adam sananu has issued a stem warning to the members of parliament responsible for stalling the passage of the anti-lgbtq plus bill promotion of proper human sexual rights bill and Ghanaian family value bill according to him any member of parliament found guilty will face serious repercussions from the christian community during the forthcoming december 7 general election this comment follows deputy majority leader afeno markin's latest move yesterday to block a third reading of the bill as we watch their posture in parliament at this time, there are some of them who are going to suffer for the salt, for the position and posture that they have shown on this matter. So I think that they all know, we've said it directly and indirectly, that the position you take on this is what is going to inform how we influence, at least from the uh, religious perspective, mm. uh, the votes that go on. That was the chairman of the Christian Movement Advocates for Christ Ghana, Edem Senanu. Now, the one magistrate court has remanded five suspects who were arrested in connection with the murder of the chief executive officer of the Royal Kusi Hill Hotel, popularly known as Drapa Dubai, Eric Johnson. The five were among some seven suspects arrested after the gruesome murder of the CEO who were found dead in a pool of blood during the early hours of Saturday, February 11, 2024. The court presided over by his lordship Masi Brin Tiriku remanded the five suspects on Thursday, February 14, upon a request by the police to allow for further investigations. Classroom News will bring you updates subsequently. Also moving away from that, the Office of the Special Prosecutor is racing against time to earn free salary of some 400 teachers. This is to avoid the wrath of the pre tertiary Teachers Union in the country. The union, including the National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, and Ghana National Teachers Association, NAT, and the Coalition of Consent Teachers have set today as deadline for the OSP to release January salaries without any explanation. According to them, affected members from the northern region precisely resorted to all means, but their effort is yet to yield fruit. Speaking on 505 yesterday, the Director of Communications for the Coalition of Consent Teachers, Ayikwe Aruli, described the situation as unfortunate. So if there is an issue, you have to resort to the em employer that I don't understand one or two things about this employee. Mm. So maybe I need to have a certificate, I need to cross-check this. But for the employer, the person has worked and the person has been paid. Then you put an embargo on the salary. I think this is where we realize that um, the OSP is overstepping his boundaries. The OSP thinks he's a law on his own, he can do anything because he is a special prosecutor. That is not how it works. That was the Director of Communications for the Coalition of Teachers, Ayikwe Awuli. Now, before we leave, three male pupils and a female teacher of the Ampia Memorial School in Nkwankwa have been confirmed dead in a fatal motor accident that occurred on the Nkwankwa section of the Kumasi Accra Road late Thursday afternoon. A Nissan petrol vehicle said to be the official vehicle of the district chief executive in the Ashanti region, Prince Kakari is said to have crashed into the Hyundai minibus on which they were. Eyewitness says the driver of the bus attempted an unapproved U turn whilst driving on the shoulders of the road from the Accra Kumasi direction at a spot near Antia. All the victims, including the female teacher identified as Dr. Dede, died while receiving treatment at the Holy Family Hospital at Nkwankwa after being rushed there. The accident occurred at about 3.30 p.m. At the time, the victims, the people of Ampia Memorial School and their teachers, numbering about 23, and the driver identified as Eja Owusu Ado, were returning home from school school we'll bring you updates subsequently this is the class news update at 10 with me elizabeth adu for more news and updates do log on to classfmonline.com class 92
1.3 FM. 1.3 FM.